Hey, Denise. Hi. Um, I have a bit of a sinus thing going on with um, okay. ears and sore throat, and but I take an antibiotic like since Saturday night. I'm I'm doing. Uh, I have more a little more energy, but I still am kind of sick. Um, I got your guys's message about the Melissa and the Clary Sage being the strongest. I guess my question is there is and I, plus uh, Greg, I have found this summer and and it's ongoing that I get kind of hot and sweaty, and that's really uncommon for me. I, I have I do have a low thyroid. Um, so it's uncommon for me to almost get hot and sweaty like I do. And when, you, when you get hot and sweaty, is it all over your body or is it just like on your abdomen and forehead or certain spots on your body? All over. It felt like all over, especially my neck and my, it just, all, it felt like all over. Is it like if I was a horse, it'd be a second sweat. <laughs> Right, <laughs> sort of something like that. I know it. That's kind of gross. I'm sorry, but that's kind of no. That yeah. so okay. So like the sage and clary sage, um, we have multiple things going on there. How long has the the sweaty stuff been going on? Um, it's almost all summer, and they did switch my thyroid. I used to have it compounded, and I do have it compounded, but I had it like a pork. For a long time, and they won't right. do that anymore. So it's more compounded with some sort of something. I, I don't know yeah. what, but it's not animal anymore. They won't it's release it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and my body may not like that. It's it. You really liked like the more like white or something. It was in Canada, and I couldn't get that any longer either. So. So, and tell me a little bit, so, so the sinuses, they feel inflamed, there's mucus, like what's going on there? Do you have a fever? Yeah, a, a lot of pressure and a lot of horrible headache. And, and especially it's been draining off to the left of the, above my ear and I can feel it go down past my ear, but at least it's draining. There is definitely junk going out. So that's a good thing, I would think, okay. you know, and just, I think that in my adrenals, I was just so run down. So yeah. that's probably what's taken a bit for me to get back on going with it. Okay. And you are having a sore throat. Yeah, I do periodically with this, which is really kind of odd. I don't often have that with the sinus deal. And But nothing done in your lungs, nothing? Like you no, I've been coughing too. Anything? What's I have been I have been coughing too. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> let me just sit with this for a minute. I mean, we have kind of like standard things that we do about this, but you know, sore throat, you got drainage in the ears. Especially that left ear. It yeah. is... Okay, let's let's see what you have. Do do you have some uh, rosemary, verbenum, or uh, naoli? I I think I might have the rosemary. I'm not sure about the verbenum, oh. but I think I might. Okay, but even if it's just rosemary. Okay. Um, let's have you take a couple of drops of that, like about every three or four hours or the next couple of days. And then, um, how about, um, Bay Laurel by chance? Do you have, I do have that. Yes, I do have yeah. that one. So like you, you can do a drop or two of that, but you know, you could also put some like on your finger and like kind of swab it on the back of your tongue. Okay. Um, like I would do like a gargle with it. Like really swish it around. And then once you're done with all that, take it like another drop or two and rub it on the back of your tongue. And let's like kind of clean up the sore throat and if there's any bacterial infection, but that will also rise up into the sinuses and kind of keep, it's almost like doing an internal diffuser where, you know, you stick it in there and it'll just kind of keep it rising up a little bit. It yeah. should help that as well. Um, and then with the rosemary, um, do lots of inhalations, just, you know, not even directing it anywhere, just 
inhale a lot, getting it up in the in the sinuses. The issue with the sinuses is that um, it has a poor blood supply. And, and so when you, you take antibiotics, a lot of times it takes a couple of cycles of antibiotics to, to knock it out. And so the more that you can cut down the inflammation, increase circulation, and then the rosemary will also kind of help break down the mucus and things like that. It's, it's, rosemary is incredibly good for the sinuses. And Excellent. so um, I, I would I would just like every three or four hours, just keep taking a couple drops, a couple drops. Um, of the rosemary? And is that yeah. also inhalation, but also take it? Um, in turn, yeah. In turn, yeah. okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And I mean, I hate to give you too many things to do, but if, if it seems like... Um, like it's just not clearing up or not clearing up very fast at the health food store there's this stuff called golden seal root um go get yourself a small bottle of that and like two or three capsules twice a day and it will really significantly cut down the mucus and stimulate your immune response and and um it might even help clear up the ears a little bit the rosemary might do it too but like if it's just not doing it um, I jump on that golden seal. I mean, we we have golden seal all the time. Like we have it around the house, and when we travel, we always have the golden seal as well. And it's just it's good for cleaning up mucus internally. And then when you use the oils, like uh, inhalation or a couple drops internal, it just they all work together. It makes for a very quick way of treating that condition. You know. It's, oh, that's the golden seal is also a very good um, lymphatic stimulant. So it just helps clean the body up and yeah. Um, and then in another class, because I saw it in my notes, mm -hmm. you you mentioned that black spruce was pretty good for the adrenals. Better than maybe the um, adrenal support? Should I consider it so, either of them? Um, or just stick if, with if one? If you have either one, I just start using it. Actually, even rosemary is good for the the adrenals um, um the black spruce is very good for fortifying the adrenals the adrenal support is a little bit interesting because like when you look at it most of the oils in that aren't something that directly impact the adrenal specifically but because they all address um like fatigue in the body and they're considered what you would call like terrain treatments where they're not super specific, but they just kind of like fortify the body as a whole and just start making things work better and things like that. Um, they're because of what it does to the body, it is actually fortifying to the to the adrenals. So I'd say whichever one you have. Like I would just start working with whatever you got. Um uh you could put the black spruce or adrenal support uh, over the adrenal area, you know, over your kidneys, or you can just put several drops on the wrist and just rub your wrist together. Um, well, I don't. How about spruce supreme? I do have spruce supreme. Yeah, but I mean, black spruce, okay? works, black spruce would work better. It's a little bit more specific, but if you if you don't have any of that, just start hitting the spruce supreme. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Uh, well, I was going to place the order. All, all the spruces you. are um, very fortifying to the body. And so um, th that's re really what you're needing. You're needing just to offset the effects of depletion and fatigue and things like that. And spruces and firs are very good for that. But spruces are a little bit more specific to um, the adrenals, especially black spruce. Thank yeah. you. And then on the clary sage, I mean, Melissa, you just keep I I actually just yeah. can kind of keep hitting that on my yeah. tongue, Matt Melissa. Yeah. Um, but yeah. how about we have, we have, I'm, I'm not joking. We have bottles like scattered throughout the house, so that like when we're ever at a point we we don't miss our like we usually take it twice a day. I Melissa. mean, it's just like bread and butter for us. It's a good. It's a good. Yeah. It, I mean. Every, every time I stop taking it, like a four or five days will go by and I'll take it. I was like, Ugh, I feel so much better. Why am I not taking this all the time? And it's not like I'm feeling horrible, but like when I take it, I feel better. I feel stronger. I feel calmer. I feel like a little bit more peaceful. Like it's just everything feels better, you know. Excellent.
And yeah. how about clary sage? Because I'll be ordering that. I've never had um, that cl before. Clary sage would be. Um, do Do you have sage? I do. I have. I Why have. Why don't you just start using sage? Don't worry about ordering the clary sage. Just start using the sage. Like okay. inhale it, several drops on the wrist as well. Even you could put a little bit of that, like on your on your abdomen or like on the tops of your feet, and just just start getting that into the system. That that will help you. Yeah, like it, it, no, no need to get another one. Just just work the sage. Okay, excellent. Thank you very, very much. You're I so appreciate it. And thanks, Sam, too.